morning to you all out there. Welcome to uh, another video, Sea Fishing with Paul. Um, it's not windy, which is pretty good. It's not raining, which is even better. It's bloody cold, but it is 20 past five in the morning. And do excuse the moon head again. It's the lighting in the car, obviously, and I can't do a lot about that, but it will be daylight soon. Plan is to go down to Seaford, which is where I went on the last video. Although the last video, the weather was absolutely raging. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to go exactly the same place, which is the buckle. And I'm determined to winkle something out and show you out there that I do know what I'm talking about sometimes. Um, target species today, probably whiting. If a codling comes along, that would be absolutely fantastic. But highly unlikely, I have to say, maybe the old school bass, but whiting's kind of what I'm after. It's close to lockdown and some people are saying you can still go fishing. The government are saying that they haven't really decided whether they're going to class fishing as recreational activity. And I bloody well hope they do because a lot of us are going to go barking bonkers if we can't get out like we did last time and it's all very depressing I have to say but I've got today so I'm going to make the most of it I'm laden up with bait I'm going to whiz down there take me about an hour tide is low tide about 7 30 so kind of when I by the time I've arrived set up got all the clobber out of the car got onto the beach got some rods out the tide will be starting to turn and come in I'm going to fish it all the way in High tide, I think, is about one, and then I'll fish it back out again for a couple of hours. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'll manage to winkle something out. It'd be nice to end on a little bit of a high if we do go into lockdown for a month or we're not allowed to go fishing. So I'll catch up with you in an hour. It takes me an hour-ish to get down there. And um, fingers and toes crossed, we catch something today. So uh, I'll see you shortly. Right, well, I'm down here, and uh, sod's law, last time it was raging rough, and there was one bloke swimming, and I'm thinking, why is the car park so full so early in the morning? And you can see why, because of all these people who are swimming. But not to be deterred, I'm going to go down on the beach. They can't stay in for too long, because they're going to freeze their nuts off, because it's bloody cold today, so... Uh, Let's get cracking. Right, you can see ahead of me, similar to where we fished, we're only a couple of metres up from last week, very different conditions. The sea is really, really calm. It's quite a high tide today. It's just over six metres. Tide's coming in. It's probably got about, what are we now? Another five hours up. So I'll fish it up, as I said earlier on today, and then fish it back down. I'm just waiting, there's some swimmers out there, waiting for them to come in. I've got one rod baited up with black lug, two singles, um, single hook, pulley rig, and I've whipped them on with some bait elastic so they don't bunch up around the hooks. What I'll do is I'll chuck it out, I don't know, about 60, 70, anywhere 80 maybe, see what I get and then I'm going to put another rod up with a two hook uh, scratching rig on it so we'll keep you posted but I just need to wait for the swimmers to go but a beautiful beautiful day it's Wednesday lockdown tomorrow still don't know about the score on fishing but uh, we'll find out I have no doubt right one rod's out I've got a, a breakaway laid on which I don't really need I have to say but uh, 160 gram fishing my good old trusty rod the icon m sport and i've attached to that a 535 pen 
maglite uh, multiplier which as I mentioned last time I'm not really convinced yet but I'll still keep giving it a go I'm just about to go and get my other rod uh, baited up and buzz that out just had a nice chat with um, another angler there's a couple of them down here on the beach now and he's kind of worried like me is this class as exercise but I would say trudging up and down a bloody shingle bank that's exercise or as much as I need in a week but there we go. Rod's looking very lonely down there on their own and another I suppose three quarters of an hour have gone by tides a bit further in still no fish um, none of us have caught fish and there are now one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 anglers left and right of me. So between all of us, you would have thought one of us would catch something. But they all keep telling me I need to be patient, which is not in my nature. But um, tide's sort of halfway through, so I'm hopeful as we start reaching a little closer to the top of the tide, something might happen. And I must be able to pull something out, even if it's a bloody pouting. I cannot go home not having caught a fish. I'm going to be really, really depressed going into this bloody lockdown and not having caught anything. But fingers, toes, everything else crossed. Got to be in it, got to be in the water. You wonder how many hours of my life I have spent staring into a sky with two little rods sitting there, not doing this, but just doing that. A little depressing, I have to say, because I've now been down here 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 4 hours, and absolutely zip. And the sea is getting quite rough again, but it's only the breaking waves on the beach. The actual main bit of the sea is pretty calm out there, but I'll keep you posted if I get anything. Right in front of me, and you wouldn't believe it, would you? With a whole sodding beach, left and right, and they're swimming right in front of where I'm trying to cast. So I'm sitting here, waiting for them to come out, because I'm kind of loath to cast over their head with a five ounce weight, and if they're smacked in the head, then it would be my fault. How am I getting on? badly in a word. The tide has come in, it is now going out again. I've tried every bait known to mankind. I've tried fresh lug, I've tried frozen lug, I've tried salted lug, I've got ragworm on at the moment, I've tried bluey, bluey lugworm combination, I've tried lugworm squid combination. I've tried them all. I've tried little hooks, big hooks, clipped down, clipped up. No joy. And the chaps either side of me have gone, which is always depressing, and a new chap has turned up who's come all the way from London, two and a half hours to get here. But I'm going to give it another probably hour and a half or thereabouts and see if at least I can get one fish. That's all I'm asking for. One little fish. Please, please, please. So, fingers crossed, we'll catch up. Right, this chap is my new beach neighbour. He's called Ross, really nice chap from London. And um, he's getting bites, I'm not. What is all that about? But I don't know if he's got a fish on the end here. It's been knocking away. Yep, it looks like he's got, has he got something on there? Yeah, he has. Um, what has he got? A whiting. See, they are out there. Look at that. Look at you, Whiting. You're on TV. And you're lucky you're small enough, pal, that you're not going to get eaten. Exactly, yeah. He's, got, he's going to go back. Now, I don't have to hang my head in shame. <laughs> My neighbour is cheering. Uh, not the most spectacular of fish, I have to say. Um, yeah, well, exactly. But what species is it? It is a pouting. Thank you, pouting, for saving the day. But um, this would be an ideal live bait. But it needs to go back in. 
but you never know this might be the start of stuff that's going to be good let's hope so right now this is my beach buddy <laughs> who Go. is embarrassing me yet again and he's caught himself a whiting been tapping Go. away for the last few moments how many fish have you caught now Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're putting me to shame, fellow, and I'm putting this out in the public domain, no, no. and I need to hang my head because I've only yeah, caught one. Really you embarrassing. Learn, you learn from the master. <laughs> like yourself, yeah. You know. yeah, I think I am today. <laughs> As you can see, it is a beautiful evening. Most of the uh, fishermen have gone, although my uh, new buddy from today, who has been in this film earlier on, um, he's still here and I still only caught one fish but one fish I suppose is better than none at all but I'm hopeful that maybe in the next half an hour or so uh, as the light starts to go down I might get another fish but we'll see now it would seem that Ross yeah is putting me to shame yet again it's amazing isn't it 10, 15 yards apart, same bait, same tackle, two hooks. So let's see what he's got. Yep, and it's another, another pin whiting. A little oh, shot of that. That's slight. Oh, this little whiting. Yeah, well, it's a bit better than the last one, I have to say. Is it? Yeah. yeah moonhead here again doesn't seem too long ago that there was a moonhead here in the morning um right one of those days i have to say i fished the tide all the way in all the way out i got here as it was getting daylight and i'm leaving as it's just got dark one fish a pretty poor show I have to say but there was a bit of easterly in the wind that's my excuse although it was perfect I have to say there were a couple of fish caught um, big shout out to Ross who without him I wouldn't really have much of a video so big thanks to Ross he did really really well but it was um, pin whiting really um, you wouldn't have been uh, feeding your family tonight but I am going out again on Saturday because apparently the government are saying that angling is going to be allowed as a recreational exercise and that um, beach fishermen can fish their local beaches um, so I'm going to come on down I've got fresh bait turning up on Friday and um, we'll see how we get on with that I don't know what the weather's going to be like at the weekend I think it's going to be sort of okay it's not going to be howling winds but I'm going to come down to the same place again because I'm not going to allow it to beat me because I do know there are fish out here. I have caught them. But I'm going to trundle off now. So thanks for watching. And would be really great if you could subscribe to the newbie um, who has just recently started this channel. And um, look forward to uh, having other fishing adventures with all of you out there. So look after yourselves. I hope you all stay safe in this crazy, crazy, COVID mad, ridiculous world, but um, really look after yourselves and really grateful that you've uh, bothered to take the time to watch an old bloke fishing. So take care.